When it comes to North American game, is there any cartridge with more flexibility than the 308 Winchester? From Predators to Bull Moose and everything in between, the tried and true 30 caliber gets the job done accurately and reliably. Which is why there's no shortage of 308 rifles tailored for taking game on the market. Today, we're diving into the world of 308 rifles and taking a closer look at the top contenders on the market. We'll be breaking down the features and specs of each rifle, as well as sharing our own experiences and opinions. So, without further ado, let's explore the best 308 rifles out there and see what makes them stand out from the crowd. FN SCAR 17S Some guns are straight-up legends in the firearm community, and the FN SCAR is one such gem. With military background, the SCAR platform is iconic and memorable. It's been featured in a ton of action movies and video games. The FN SCAR 17S is the civilian version of the popular 308 rifle, currently used by US Special Forces. It's big, it's beefy, and it packs one heck of a punch. What initially impressed us was the lightweight and compact size of the rifle chambered in 308 Winchester. It can be easily fit in a short 30-inch zippered bag, thanks to the SCAR's folding stock. The 17S is completely ambidextrous, including the reciprocating charging handle. The balance this gun exhibits rivals that of an Olympic gymnast on a balance beam. I love it. The rifle's weight remained consistently balanced and centered right over the magazine well. Speaking of weight, the SCAR 17S is creepy light. At 8 pounds, it may look bloated, but it's clearly all gas, because it's one of the lightest if not the lightest in its peer class. I also like how complicated it looks, but how basic and intuitive it feels in your hands. In many ways, the SCAR 17S is a freak of nature. How it manages to be so light and maneuverable and manage the recoil of the 308 the way it does is debatably brilliant. It's like it doesn't know it's shooting 308. You put the gun up to your shoulder and brace yourself for what you expect to be a scoliosis-inducing recoil that will cause you to question whether it's worth shooting all 20 rounds in its magazine. You pull the trigger, and instead of hitting you like an anvil, it firmly shoves you on the chest and says, See? Not so bad. Now let's do it again, because that was awesome. Mauser M18 the Mauser M18 has been making waves in the shooting world since its introduction in 2018. This sleek and modern rifle is a perfect blend of classic Mauser craftsmanship and contemporary design, making it a top contender for anyone in search of a reliable and accurate firearm. The M18 features a 22-inch cold hammer-forged barrel that delivers excellent accuracy and a detachable 5-round magazine for quick and easy reloading. Its synthetic stock is both lightweight and durable, making it a great option for those who want a rifle that can handle any situation. Additionally, the M18's adjustable trigger and three-position safety make it easy to customize to your preferences and ensure safe handling at all times. At an MSRP of $699, the M18 is priced a bit higher than most competing models, but well below any new production Mauser since the height of the Cold War. While rifles in this class are typically Spartan, the M18 offers a few extras, along with better-than-expected test results. Daniel Defense DD5 V4 Hunter The DD5 V4 Hunter is a hard-hitting, fast-handling rifle capable of taking down any North American big-game animal. This rifle takes that ease of use and versatility one step farther by offering a new gas block design that allows you quickly and easily adjust the gas block to shoot suppressed or unsuppressed. In addition to the new adjustable gas block design, the DD5 V4 offers all the premium features you'd expect to find on a Daniel Defense rifle. It comes with the company's proprietary 18-inch cold hammer-forged barrel that is chrome-lined for consistent performance, ease of maintenance, and long life. The 8620 Bolt Carrier Group is equipped with a buffer for smooth, consistent cycling and an improved recoil pulse, and it's super finished and DLC coated for maximum wear resistance and hassle-free cleaning. It also comes with what you would expect, a DD buttstock, grip, mil-spec trigger, and an amber charging handle. The 15-inch DD5 M-Lock rail is CNC machined from 6061 T6 and is hard anodized as well, 
Each of these features not only improves the rifle as a whole, but are normally features that you simply cannot find on cheaper rifles. And they help explain the price tag of this long-range blaster. Chambered in 308 Winchester, the Daniel Defense DD5 V4 Hunter is a superb all-around rifle, capable of consistently hitting targets at a half mile or more. It would also make a great hunting rifle, and it's tough enough to survive the rigors of daily range or ranch work. Tika T3X Hunter Tika remains an underappreciated commodity in the US market, but its stock has risen in the past decades mainly thanks to precision shooters who want to save a buck. But hunters would do well to get the Finnish gunmaker on their radar. Out of the box, few rifles match the T3X Hunter's performance, from well-thought-out ergonomics to perhaps one of the best production triggers on the market. Accuracy, however, is what steals the show. The T3X action is to think. With plenty of material to stiffen it up and a two-lug bolt to ensure a strong lockup, did we mention a Seiko-style extractor? Not quite as robust as a Mauser, but nonetheless reliable. Space precludes detailing too much more on this 308 rifle, but safe to say, few are disappointed taking a Tika on the hunt. Christensen Arms CA-10 G2 The CA-10 G2 is a custom-built rifle that delivers optimal accuracy and weight by using aerospace-grade composites. This ultra-lightweight hunting rifle weighs a mere 7.2 pounds, making it one of the lightest AR-10 platforms ever created. This is outstanding, considering a rail is present as well as other features that are typically avoided in other builders' efforts when attempting a lightweight AR. The key to the lightweight design is the carbon-wrapped barrel. These barrels provide the rigidity and accuracy of a heavy barrel rifle. Without the heavy part of the description, the 1 in 10 inch twist rate is designed for stabilizing the most popular 308 bullets and features a threaded muzzle for adding a brake, sound suppressor, or other muzzle devices. The carbon fiber handguard is textured, allowing for positive grip anywhere along its length. A Picatinny rail runs under the fore end handguard for mounting of accessories. Its Magpul stock is adjustable for length of pull and comb height, providing a comfortable and ergonomic shooting experience. The Timney trigger breaks clean and crisp every time. It is a single-stage trigger, which I prefer in most AR platforms. Backed by the Christensen Arm sub-MOA guarantee, this is an extremely accurate, lightweight semi-auto rifle, which is perfectly suited for any application, from hunting to home defense. Springfield Armory M1A SOCOM Yes, it looks like the love child of an M1 Garrett, an AR-15. That's exactly the aesthetic the company was going for with this particular synthetic variant of its almighty M1A. This rifle shortens the M1A's 22-inch barrel to 16 and a quarter inch, adds a polymer stock, and tips the barrel with a stubby muzzle brake. The action is built around a strong rotating bolt, cycled by the M14-style gas piston and long operating rod. The bolt is the same design as the M14, which was itself a direct copy of the greatest of warhorses the M1 Garand. The rifle features an aperture rear sight with a tritium-marked front post, which is a nice touch. The rear aperture is also expanded a little since the M1A SOCOM 16 is designed for closer work, though it's certainly capable of reaching out for several hundred yards. As for some of that modern stuff I mentioned, there is a Picatinny rail mounted forward of the receiver that is just the thing for a red dot or a long eye relief scope. Would SOCOM take this Springfield Armory M1A as a battle rifle? Well, no, of course they wouldn't. It's a steampunk rifle, not a tactical rifle. But it has character by the bucketful, and you have to admit that you want one in your home gun safe. The rifle ships with a 10-round mag, but 20-rounders are available.